Hey you guys, what's up? My name's Jason and today I'm going to be showing you a new tutorial on how to create app icons that have a glossy coating on them. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and get started. So I'm here in Photoshop and I've created a document that's 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Now your document needs to be square because all app icons are square, whether they're a circle or a square, they still have a square measurement. So, and I've also created it 300 pixels big because it's better to create things larger because you can always resize things without um, losing the resolution if you're bringing the size down. But if you try to enlarge something, you're gonna lose all your resolution. So always create things larger than they need to be. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab our shape tool and we wanna make sure we're using the rectangular tool with the rounded edges. I'm gonna go ahead and click up in this corner like so, come down like so. Hold down shift to make a perfect square. And we want our square to be a little bit smaller than our document, so that should be good. Now, for the color we wanna fill it in with, we want to use this color right here. This is the character that we're gonna be putting on our icon. And so I want to use the same color in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our outline and turn on our fill color and make the fill color this blue. Great. Now we can go ahead and grab that and we can go ahead and center it into our document like so. Next what we want to do is we're going to grab our character and this part will be whatever it is on your icon, whether it's text, the title of your game, a character, whatever it is you want to put on there, this is what you're going to be grabbing. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy my character and paste him in like so. And what I wanna do is I wanna make him into a clipping layer. So I'm gonna come up to layer, come down to create clipping mask. And now what that does is he's a clipping mask for this shape, this square shape. So anything outside of that shape is going to get clipped away. Now, I think that's pretty good looking right there. I'm gonna bring him down a little bit, but probably about there will be good. Now these icons are very small and so the bigger the image in them, the better. Next what I wanna do is I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer underneath my character, then using the color black and a soft edged brush. And that size is way too big, so I'll bring that down. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to paint in a dark spot behind him. This is just to kind of give him a little bit of shadow behind him. Something like so, maybe a little bit down here. Great, now let's go ahead and let's bring the opacity down on that layer. About there looks good. Now for my icon, I'm not I want it to be very eye-catching and so I want the colors to pop a lot on my character. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go to my hue and saturations by hitting Control U and I'm gonna bring up my saturation on my character just a little bit. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Great, so now my character's standing out just a little bit more. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a drop shadow on my character. So we added a very soft shadow behind him, but now I wanna add like a very um, defined shadow behind him. Not too hard edged, but somewhat. So we'll go ahead and select drop shadow from FX. And then we're going to, that actually looks pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. So this distance is going to come down just a tiny bit about there. I want to bring down that opacity to about there. Great. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Awesome. This is looking good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. and We want to add it underneath our character. That way it automatically creates a clipping mask and then we can drag it above our character. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the color white and then we're just going to paint in this bottom like so. Perfect. Then we're gonna bring down that opacity very low so you can hardly see it, probably about 15%, somewhere around there is good, 13%. And go ahead and add a new layer now. Whoops, make sure that you add it underneath an already made clipping mask so it automatically becomes a clipping mask. Then we'll drag that to the top. And then using my marquee tool and making sure I'm on a oval marquee tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and create a large oval like so. Perfect. You know what, that was a little bit too big. I wanna see a little bit more um, of the roundness in there. 
So about like that should be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my fill tool. And I'm gonna fill that in with white. Now I know that looks kind of funny, but let's bring down the opacity. And now you'll see it creates this nice glossy look over our icon. Perfect. Next, what we want to do is we want to add a drop shadow on our icon just to make it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to come down to our square layer and we're going to come down to FX drop shadow and we'll add a drop shadow to that. Let's bring the distance. Um, let's see. Let's bring up the opacity first so we can see it better. And you know, this actually is not looking too bad. We'll go ahead and hit OK. So something like this is good. Now it might be cutting off the shadow at the bottom a little bit. So what we'll do is we're going to select all of our layers then using the grab and move tool and using the arrow keys on our keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and nudge that up just a little bit. That way it's not cutting away any of our shadow. Perfect. All right, well, we just created one awesome looking app icon. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment in the comment section of this video. And I hope to see you in later videos. Thanks for watching. My name's Jason and have a good life.